Hello, Healthitarian viewers. It is my pleasure to share with you today a very special video that is quite different from what I would normally share on this channel, as I just recently received the Silver Award from YouTube for reaching 100,000 subscribers on the Healthitarian channel. And so as part of this video, I want to say a big, huge, 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 huge thank you to all of you who have been watching Healthitarian videos and benefiting from the content for healthy eating and healthy living. And so I wish to share with you as part of this celebratory video, a little bit of a background about how I even started making these videos and how Healthitarian came to be and a special message to you. And so when it comes to my journey, I started off in the health sciences and going off to get a university degree in science that specialized in the biology and biochemistry of human health and nutrition, as this was my passionate interest. And after that, I became a high school science teacher, teaching mostly grade 11, science, biology, biochemistry, as well as some of the other sciences. And this was a deeply, deeply rewarding part of my life as I had great rapport with my students. I loved teaching. I loved the content. And in addition to the teaching, I was also doing a lot of research on my own on the side as, again, I was driven by the topics of human health, nutrition. And this also was the beginning of my journey to understand what does it take for us as humans to thrive. And so I went on this quest to find out what entailed optimal human nutrition, what entailed living a long quality life. Now, this was actually an interesting time in my life because it resulted in a major awakening on all sorts of fronts. And this is now going back to about 2005, between 2005, 2007, major shifts in my life as I realized that I actually had to unlearn a lot of what I was taught in the mainstream institutions and also what I was teaching my students. And so this brought about many changes in my life that after seven years, I decided to pursue teaching independently and outside of the mainstream classrooms and also pursue my own education further outside of many of the traditional and mainstream educational facilities. And so I dug in deep and I was guided by the wisdom of our body coming back to understanding our body coming into an understanding of science from a holistic perspective, as I was always taught it from a reductionist perspective, as it goes with health and medicine in our society. And this brought about a huge amount of reverence and respect for my own body, as well as for all of us and, and for nature and how we live, how we interact, and why we suffer so much from various ailments and diseases. And so all of these passions were driving me to help people like yourself to empower you, to help you understand that, yes, there is an easier way to live. There is a better way to live than with all the different ailments and all the suffering that we have due to our numerous today, physical, mental, emotional, acute, and chronic conditions. And so as part of this, as I branched out to teach on my own, uh, teach adults globally through in-person various classes and workshops, retreats at different retreat centers, and also teach online. And my educational passions not only were through teaching via talking and speaking, but also via writing. And so I've written articles on various healthy eating, healthy living topics. And this period also birthed my book, Healing and Prevention Through Nutrition, which just in recent years has been released in its third edition. As my work continued to evolve, one of the areas and platforms that I chose to teach through was YouTube. Now, this is going back to 2010 when I first made a video on YouTube, 2011 specifically for Healthitarian for this channel and it was you know a brand new thing in my life I you know wasn't into creating videos so there was a lot of learning involved and I was used to you know speaking to groups of people now there was not an actual audience so it was it took a little bit of you know getting used to but nonetheless it was very enjoyable and the feedback that I was getting also told me that yes this is also a good platform through which I can teach and help people like yourself and reach more people out there. Never at the beginning or to this day of this journey was my goal to become a YouTuber in any way, shape or form. And so to this day, if you're familiar with this channel or my videos, you know that I don't follow the typical video creator guidelines or, you know, ask my 
audience members uh, to subscribe or like the videos, etc. as this is not at all what I'm here for or what I'm here to do. I love empowering people. I love helping people understand how to make their life more efficient, more optimized, more effective, how to enjoy their life from a higher quality, from a higher state of being, with a greater degree of joy, with a greater degree of physical, mental, emotional, social, and spiritual health. And so these are the things that drive me. And this is just a pleasant surprise that has come after now about 10 years of being on YouTube. I know some people reach these milestones in you know, a year or, or less or plus or minus more. But for me, again, it's not about the analytics. It's not about the numbers. It's not about the time. It's about feeling so deeply honored and grateful that I am capable and able to reach so many people like yourself to again have some hopefully positive impact on your life so that you can benefit from the content I provide in whatever way that speaks most to you. And so one other part I wanted to share with you is how was Healthitarian born out of all of this? As uh, again, the research, the work, the teaching that was driving me was all based in the fields of optimal health and optimal human nutrition. And as I learned and then unlearned and then learned some more, I realized that the optimal way for our human bodies, for us as a human species collectively, is to follow the guidance, the wisdom of nature, and to really listen to how our body is constructed, to pay attention to how we feel and such. And so all of this research externally through many books, courses, and, and all the different domains of science, and also through different spiritual disciplines, which have been a huge part of my life as well. And inner guidance led me to understand that whole food, plant-based eating is so powerful. Of course, we've got terms out there like vegan, but at the time when Healthitarian was being born in my life, through my personal journey, and then I was able to conceptualize it, this is now going back to 2008, so over 10 years ago now, I realized that so many of the words out there don't define or, or couldn't capture what I was trying to convey. Healthitarian is meant to encompass not just what we eat, as this plays an important role, but only one part of a very important foundation of what it takes to be an optimally healthy and optimally functioning human being. And so there's what we eat, there's how we think, the thoughts, the emotions we experience, there's how we live, what work we do, how it contributes to society, how it is of service to others. There's also what we put onto our bodies, what kind of home environment we live in. To live life with optimal human health, optimal vitality, longevity, to not just survive as a human being, but to thrive as a human being. To live life with meaning, with purpose, with joy, with peace of mind, with a balanced mind, and in a good physically fit body, contributing to a better world while first and foremost taking accountability and responsibility for our own health, our own happiness, and our own actions. And you can learn all about, you know, how I describe how to make the most of the healthitarian lifestyle on the website healthitarian.com. And to this day, it brings me such great pleasure to create content as part of the healthitarian, you know, framework. And over the years, I've created videos that dealt with recipes and various classes and, and various quick tips. And I hope to continue to provide you with valuable content. But ultimately, the most important message out of this video, however, is really about you to say thank you for taking the time out of the, gosh, I don't know, millions or more of videos that are out there today on YouTube, out of the so many things that you could be doing, so many places that today are, you know, um, fighting for your attention. I thank you so much for investing time in yourself, in your health, in wanting to make better choices, whether it's through how you eat or how you live, as this is such a valuable, valuable gift that you're giving yourself and ultimately giving our whole world. Because as for me, while I'm so extremely touched by this award, the real award is ultimately making our world a better place, improving my health, helping you improve your health so that we can all enjoy a better quality of life and contribute positively to each other. And so I thank you for being here. I thank you for watching the videos that interest you on the Healthitarian channel. I thank those of you who decided to be subscribers and have contributed to this lovely milestone in the Healthitarian journey for me. And more than anything, I thank those of you who have left such incredibly moving comments over the years for me on so many of the videos. It 
it's just you know this is what really lights me up at the end of the day because we know there's so many challenges in our world and so all the beautiful positive feedback and messages that so many of you have left have left a tremendously warm mark on my heart and will forever be cherished and so thank you so 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 very much and to celebrate this fun milestone i'm going to do that with a mimic cake this version is a chocolate mousse mimic cake and I do provide you with this video template as part of the Healthitarian video collection. And I'll provide a link as part of this video as well. And so I can't share this with you. I would love to do that and make cake for everyone. But I invite you and encourage you, if you'd like to celebrate with me, to make your own mimic cake in whatever flavor and version you'd like, whether it's chocolate or blueberry, to also celebrate your own life, your own dedication to your health, your well-being, and to ultimately wanting to make our world a better place for all. Thank you so much. Cheers, everyone.